everyone. Today what I'm doing is a product review. So I picked up a setting spray the other day at Ulta. It was reduced in price. I think it's usually $32, but I picked it up for $19. So it was quite the sale. So what I did pick up was the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Oh, it's a primer water, but when you look at that, people use it for setting. So I picked this up. This is the Nicole Concilio and Smashbox collaboration. There were two other scents. There was a coconut one that smelled exactly like the Physician's Formula bronzer, which is not my favorite smell. I think it just smells really fake, so I didn't pick that up. It just smelled nothing like coconut. It smelled like BG Paradise, which is just not for me. Um, and then there was a citrus scent, which I... It was a nice, very, very to the point citrus smell, but I just don't prefer citrus smells. Um, and then they had the Serene Greens, and this to me smells like cucumbers. So I picked it up and I wanted to do kind of a review on this. Uh, my face is not set right now, so it might look slightly powdery. Also, my hair was, I just dyed my hair, so I might have a weird ring around my face. But I wanted to show you how this sprays and kind of describe to you what it feels like and kind of my final opinion because I did wear this the other day. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my face and, um, yeah, I'm just going to spray my face and kind of talk about it. Um, to begin with, I am obsessed with the packaging. I think especially this green bottle is going to look so nice on my little makeup cart that I have next to me. The palm trees look so good and definitely really am enjoying that. It's a nice um, size. So this is, how much are you? This is 3.9 fluid ounces. Very standard to what most primers are. I think it's just a fatter bottle than say like the um, Urban Decay setting spray. So it's very in, in line with how much product would be in any regular setting spray. I think the packaging is stunning. I'm obsessed with, I guess, I used to hate palm trees, but now I really do like at least the silhouettes of palm trees. Um, just because I've lived in Florida for so long, it's kind of finally growing on me. Like this is a big part of who I am and where I grew up in. So palm trees are a big plus for me at this point. Um, I think the green bottle is beautiful. So the one that smells like citrus is yellow, and then the other one is kind of like a bluish tint. Um, but I did pick up this one. It smells like cucumbers. I love it. Um, and it actually produces a pretty nice mist. Can you see that? I don't know if my camera is going to pick that up, but it's a pretty nice mist, um, which is really nice for a setting or primer spray because sometimes I feel like when I spray my Urban Decay, there'll be some dots on me because the spray is a little too strong. But this kind of sprays and it disperses really nicely. So I'm going to go and just spray my face. So this lays a really nice mist on my face and I don't feel like there's big droplets anywhere, but I am going to kind of fan it to um, let it dry down and it immediately really does a good job of kind of melting my powders into my foundation. But I really like the way this makes my skin feel. It makes it look really nice. Um, it's not super dewy, but it's not making it super matte either. I feel like it's kind of in the middle, which I really do enjoy. Longevity wise, what I do have to say about this is it held my makeup okay. It's not like the Urban Decay setting spray. Um, the actual packaging that it came in looks like this, which is also just as beautiful and it has like Nicole's picture here. Okay, so ingredients wise, water being one of the main ingredients is really nice. Then it has glycol, it has caffeine, it has diamond powder, magnesium chloride, calcium chloride, sodium sulfate, potassium nitrate, potassium phosphate, polysprate 80, fragrance, phenoxylthanol, sodium bronzide. So I feel like the phenoxylthanol is some kind of alcohol. I'm guessing because it sounds like it, but looking at the ingredients, I can pronounce all of these names and nothing really screams out to me like, oh my god, stranger danger, you know what I mean? So it just makes my skin look really nice, it kind of melts everything together, it smells really good. On sale, the price was bomb.com, so I cannot complain on that end. Maybe it wasn't selling well, maybe that's why they discounted the price, I can't tell you why they did. Um, but I am a big fan of this. I personally do enjoy the smell and I do enjoy what it does to my skin. So I'm actually really happy that I bought it. I really do think that Smashbox is a great company. They are cruelty free and um, 
Yeah, I really like Nicole and I'm happy to support her even though at a lower price. I'm happy to support her. I do like this product. It smells good. The price was good when I bought it. It does a good job of making my makeup last a little bit longer. And yeah, it just makes my skin look really nice and good. So I give this a huge thumbs up. And if it's on sale in your area, I do highly suggest going to buy it. I mean, there are three scents. So if you are sensitive to scents, I'm sure you can find something that is bearable for you because this is a great product. Anything to support a fellow YouTuber is on my list for sure. So I do really like this. I do really recommend it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.